Today, President Joko Widodo announced that Indonesia will officially lift all COVID-19 activity and mobility restrictions. Indonesia's president said this means that there will be no longer limits on crowd sizes or mobility. Despite this, President Widodo stated that the use of face masks will still be required indoors and in crowded areas. Setelah mengkaji dan mempertimbangkan perkembangan tersebut, kita ini mengkaji sudah lebih dari 10 bulan, dan lewat pertimbangan-pertimbangan yang berdasarkan angka-angka yang ada, maka pada hari ini pemerintah memutuskan untuk mencabut PPKM yang tertuang dalam instruksi mendagri nomor 50 dan 51 tahun 2022. Jadi tidak ada lagi pembatasan kerumunan dan pergerakan masyarakat. Namun demikian, saya minta kepada seluruh masyarakat dan komponen bangsa untuk tetap hati-hati dan waspada. Pemakaian masker di keramaian dan ruang tertutup harus tetap dilanjutkan. Kesadaran vaksinasi harus terus digalakkan karena ini akan membantu meningkatkan imunitas. The amount of passengers traveling to and from Yogyakarta's International Airport increased significantly throughout the Christmas and New Year's holidays. The airport recorded the peak happened two days before Christmas on the 23rd of December. Even though the increase is still well below target, it's still a significant increase compared to normal days and also higher than the same period last year. The amount of passengers this year's Christmas went up by 104% in comparison to last year's Christmas and New Year's holidays. The peak of the 20 uh, the peak on the 23rd of December 2022 recorded 13,488 passengers and for arrivals or passengers coming back through Yogyakarta's international airport, the peak is predicted to fall on the 3rd and 4th of January 2023. Even with the increase of passengers this Christmas and New Year's holidays, no airlines have requested additional operational slots since most airlines are opting to add passengers' capacity by operating larger airlines with bigger capacity. Dan ini kami sudah mencatat sekitar 2,91 juta. Jadi 2.911.000 penumpang yang sudah mengakses bandara YIA. Nah, hal ini tentunya berbeda dengan tahun lalu, karena tahun lalu ini dalam satu tahun itu hanya 1,4 juta. Jadi luar biasa peningkatannya, bahkan kami kemarin sudah menghitung sampai dengan tanggal 31 Desember ini jumlahnya sekitar 2,95 juta. Jadi kurang kurang 5.000 saja kita bisa 3 juta gitu kan ya. Selamat menyambut tahun baru 2023 for 2022 with a closing ceremony held at the Bursa Effect Indonesia building Indonesia's Vice President Ma'ruf Amin led the closing ceremony with a speech aired virtually as he praised the performance of the Indonesian Composite Index in a year marked with challenges Vice President Ma'ruf Amin reminded that the IDX managed to break its all-time record high this year and still managed to gain by over 4% since the start of the year despite many external pressures including the aggressive rate hikes by the US Federal Reserve or the Fed. Sektor UMKM yang naik kelas serta berkembangnya penawaran efek